Here in northern Michigan's Akiak River, conducting research is anything but easy, but it's vitally important for the health of our Great Lakes. And it's MSU researchers who are working to manage these gnarly looking fish. These are sea lamprey. The sea lamprey spend most of their life as this cute little blind larvae. You tell it metamorphosis and it turns into this parasite. It's got big eyes, big mouth, sectorial, full of teeth, swims out to the lake, sticks on the side of other fish, drills a hole into the side of them, and lives on their blood. These species are not pretty, and over a half a century ago, they almost wiped out commercial fish in the Great Lakes. That is, until a pesticide was developed to help get rid of them. It's been effective, sure, but MSU is looking to a more holistic way to control the lamprey. What MSU is really sort of leading the way on is coming up with innovative techniques for control. And so in fact, MSU didn't lead the way on developing pesticides, but we are leading the way in trying to come up with what is equally effective, but environmentally friendly approaches to managing this species that allows us to achieve our other goals, like reconnecting the rivers back to the lakes, like getting pesticides out of the system. And one of these ways is something kind of like a fish ladder that can be placed near dams and would allow native fish to pass through, but stop the lamprey. What we're trying to do is create a filter in this device that'll pull the lamprey out and let the natives go by. So all of our research is, is, is very far-reaching because the technology that we develop here can be applied to thousands of barriers that are located throughout the, the basin itself and that, that'll, be a, that'll be a big help in the future. And because of MSU's work, it looks like we'll have fewer lamprey and more native fish throughout the Great Lakes.